Hello everybody, my name is Al DePaulo. I'm the Partner Products Manager over at Bobcat, and today is Friday, and I have a great project to review with everybody. It has to do with uh, a blending, uh, blended surface for a guitar neck to the head stock, and this has come up from a variety of different sources, uh, questions about how to handle this and uh, uh, do a good job of it. So to start with, I've already prepped my file up here and uh, you can see I have my neck profile and then I also have my headstock profile. Now one of the things that I've done a little bit differently about this geometry is instead of using like an ellipse for this profile or a series of lines or arcs for this profile, where those two surfaces intersect I made sure to use splines. So this is a spline here and this is a spline here. Okay. Um, let me see if I select just one of them and I right click and I do entity modify you can see all the different control points that I use to develop that spline and then for the other section here I didn't create a spline all the way around it I just created a, a spline where these uh, two surfaces would intersect so if I select this and then I do entity modify you can see all the different control points that I use for that area uh, and kind of just get in a little bit closer on that if you want to get nice smooth curves like this um, you know you add a number of different uh, control points to get that really I had the wireframe drawn already and then I just traced the spline over it okay so we have our two two uh, two uh, profile geometry sets now the first thing that I want to do is create an extruded curve here and this is going to be five inches long and I'll just select that shape here and say minus five inches. Now you'll notice that I am extruding it along the x-axis so I choose along normal versus along z. If I choose along z it would go in the z direction. If I choose along normal it's going along the normal direction of that profile. So this gives us the first profile. I want to uh, undo my caps and click OK. Alright, now I'll go to my headstock profile. This one here, I'll just make it a different color. Alright, and we'll do surface extrude curve. This one will make it five inches long, or five inches high. We want to go along Z. Uh, we don't want any caps and we'll choose OK. Alright, so now what I want to do is make sure that these surfaces intersect. They're right on the, the Z0, but uh, for good measure I typically will translate this down so that uh, this part uh, fully, fully intersects, or this surface fully intersects uh, the other surface. Okay, so now we have these two intersecting surfaces. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to uh, I want to um, add these surfaces together. Okay, so we'll do solids add, and we'll add this surface with that surface. Oh, sorry, not that one. This one and this one, and we'll choose OK. And uh, what that will do is uh, stitch those surfaces together. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is solid add and I want to add this surface with those surfaces and we'll choose OK. So basically we're stitching uh, or adding all the surfaces together. You do have an option for stitching and then you also have an option for adding. In this case we're choosing to add the surfaces together and what that will do is when they where they intersect where the surfaces intersect there'll be a cut line okay or they'll they'll actually cut uh, be cut or broken where they intersect when we unstitch the model so we'll go to stitching unstitch solid to surfaces that will break everything down and from here we can get rid of the geometry that we don't want okay so I'll go to a a front view here and I can select the things that I don't want. Um, I'm also gonna come in here on the inside you'll see there's some additional geometry so I'm gonna want to get rid of these surfaces as well. So I'm just left with the surface bodies. Now I do see a little outline trim there. 
uh, which I shouldn't see this. I'm not sure exactly... Oh, okay, that was just a graphics issue. Okay, so now that has gone away. All right, so there we have our two intersecting uh, surfaces. The next thing that we want to look at doing is creating a fillet between them, okay? So you have a number of different options. The one that I want to use here is surface fillet. I will set my fillet size. I will pick my two surfaces. Again, in the version 25, you do have a preview, so we were able to, to preview that uh, surface fill it so and we could increase or decrease that as wanted but you can see that this gives us a very nice uh, transition between the one surface and the next surface so from here what we can do is add our uh, other cutting surface and we're going to use the same process we did before we'll do a, a solids add and we're going to just add everything together didn't uh, didn't like that so let's uh, add there could be a gap along along this profile here but let me see if um, if I can get this to do what I want so we'll take that we'll take this and we'll take that let's see if we can add those together we'll choose OK Good, we were able to do that. Now the next thing that we want to do is stitching uh, unstitched solid to surfaces. We can break them down to the individual surfaces again. And now we can just click on what we want to delete. And this is the workflow and the process that you would follow to be able to generate uh, pretty complicated transitions. Uh, we could cap off this surface here. We could also turn it over and do another cut surface on the bottom here. So hopefully this will help you guys understand more about our surfacing tools in Bobcat. Again, a fun project for me to work on and I uh, appreciate your time today. Thanks a lot.